Hey there, corporate misfits. Today, I wanna to talk all about if I were to jump onto Kajabi all over again, starting from scratch, how would I go about utilizing my Kajabi trial? Today, I wanna to help the people who have been struggling to jump onto the platform and trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. So we're gonna go into the strategy I would take if I were to jump on the platform brand new, trying to figure out what to do next. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Corporate Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where I help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business. Now, today I wanna to talk about my favorite platform, which is Kajabi. Like many of you, I have been on a trial before, trying to figure out how to actually get my business off the ground, how to utilize the platform, and so much more. I've had a lot of trial and error, and if I had to go back and do it all over again, I have a strategy and an approach that I would take, and it's something that I share with a lot of my clients to help them to get the most out of their trial. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I want you to check out the four phase framework that I use to launch my online courses and in my business. This will help you to understand the pre-pre-launch, the pre-launch, the launch, and the post-launch so that you can be set up for success. You can find that below. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and notifications so that you can be notified of some of our upcoming videos. Okay. Let's talk about using a trial on Kajabi. And the reason I really wanted to talk about this is because a lot of people get on the Kajabi platform and one, they either forget to use the platform, so they never touch it while they're in their trial. And then all of a sudden, when they get that notification that their trial is going to be ending soon, they're scrambling to try to hurry up and learn all about the platform. Or people get on the platform and they feel so overwhelmed that they never actually launch their course or their membership or things along those lines. I wanna help you to be able to avoid some of the situations that I fell into that kept me from being able to utilize the most out of my trial when I was utilizing Kajabi. And I wanna help you to see success once you get onto this platform because I know that it could truly help you. So let's talk about this. The first thing I would do if I were jumping on to a trial with Kajabi and I am a new user, I've never used this platform before, one thing I would do before I even actually get onto my trial, I would ask myself, do I have the assets and the things that I need in order to build a digital business? Have I taken time to identify what my e-learning course, my membership, my coaching program might even be about? Am I clearly aware of what type of business I am looking to create? You see, I don't want you jumping on the platform trying to all of a sudden better understand your brand colors, your icons, and your logos. I want you to have that taken care of beforehand. If you were able to go ahead and get your brand colors or your logo, your icons, all those things that you're going to need in your business for branding, if you can get that taken care of before you jump onto your Kajabi trial, it will help save you a ton of time. Now, another thing is to make sure that you have outlined what you're going to be talking about. So I want you to identify what's your topic going to be. So for example, I teach all about how you can create digital products, build automation through sales funnels, and also how you can save time with templates. Now, if I knew this before I jumped onto the platform, I could start outlining maybe some of the courses that I was looking to create or the memberships or the coaching program. I can start identifying, just starting with one product, identifying what that outline is going to look like, whether it's a mini course, whatever it may be, just start to get a better understanding of what you are looking to teach on so that you can create your outline and not come to this platform trying to now figure out what your topic is going to be. Now, the next thing I would do is I would really spend some time making sure that I have my lead magnets ready, that I have an idea of who my audience is, so that then you're not spending time trying to find out who your target market is or try to figure out what type of lead magnet you're gonna make. That all has to do outside of Kajabi. So no matter if you jump on this platform or not, if you don't have a lead magnet, well, creating an opt-in page or a thank you page is really not gonna do anything for you. Or if you're trying to figure out your branding, well, Kajabi is not going to teach you how to do your branding. 
branding. It's something you need to have beforehand and it's something that you need to take initiative on before you jump onto your trial. This will help you to get the most out of your trial so that then you're not wasting time in other areas and when you're utilizing your actual trial in Kajabi, you are going to be able to be effective. You're gonna be able to focus on creating your mini course, your membership, your coaching program, your podcast, or whatever type of digital product you are looking to create. Now, this will give you the opportunity to jump onto the platform and really be able to hone in on what it is that you need and all of that great stuff. Now, another thing that I would really hone in on if you were looking to use the trial on Kajabi, I want you to identify, will you be utilizing Kajabi for sales funnels, website, email marketing, like what are you utilizing this platform for? Obviously you might be making a digital product, but let's think about some of the other things that Kajabi can do. It can build out websites. It can host your emails and have email campaigns that take place. It can also have sales funnels. So I want you to really think about what you're gonna be utilizing it for so that then when you jump onto the platform, you're not just dibbling and dabbling in anything and everything. You're focused on the things that will help to get you going. And then you can go back and try out other things get familiar with the platform. I just want you to be as effective as you can because if you're anything like me, my time is very limited. And so for me to spend hours and hours and hours and hours trying to figure out a platform during my trial, well, it can keep me from making any headway and actually seeing results, which might make me want to give up by the end of my trial because I didn't see progress other than me just learning about the platform. So I want you to ask yourself, what do you have before you jump on to your trial? Do you have your brand? Kit. Do you have an understanding of what your topic is about? Do you know all the things that you want to focus on when you get onto this platform? If the answer is no, I want you to take a step back. I want you to gather this information before you jump onto this platform. And this will help you to get organized. So then when you're on the platform, I would spend the first week just getting an understanding of what Kajabi is. We have some amazing trainings, especially in our Kajabi Kickstarter program to where we help you to better understand, also learn some shortcuts and really walk you through how you can get the most out of Kajabi. I would spend a week really understanding it and digesting how you're going to utilize this platform and really play with it and make sure that you are comfortable with creating whatever it is you're looking to build out. The second week, I would hone in on building out whatever your courses, membership, your digital product, whatever that might be. I would start to set that up in Kajabi and I would spend probably the third week honing in on building out out any landing pages that I need or website pages or plugging in my opt-ins and getting that all connected and making sure that my emails are connected. And I would spend that fourth week really honing in on launching and sharing it with my audience, getting people to start opting in. If you're able to really spend your time wisely on this trial, I promise you, you can start collecting leads. You can start generating sales. You can also start getting comfortable with creating digital products. And this will help you to move forward so then once your trial is over and you start paying for this platform, you are able to hopefully start generating some revenue to where it can pay for itself. I want you to be smart with your trial and I don't want you to wait until Kajabi sends that very last email that says they're gonna be charging your card soon. So I want you to really think about how can I be intentional with my overall trial and how can I get the most out of it? And doing exactly what I just mentioned can help you along the way so that you can see some results when you do jump on the platform, which will allow you to most likely stay on the platform because you're seeing the results that so many people talk about. You're seeing new leads, you're seeing revenue come in, you're seeing all of this in an all-in-one platform without having to jump on all these different platforms to duct tape your business together. So Corporate Misfits, if you are looking to try Kajabi, I want you to try, I have a special link for you, and also I have some amazing bonuses that will allow you to be able to really kick start your Kajabi trial and your journey. So we have over 40 something lessons that will walk you through how you can get set up for success. And also if you decide to stay on Kajabi, I have some additional bonuses that will make your journey so much easier. You can check that out below. All right, corporate misfits, go ahead and decide how are you gonna utilize your Kajabi trial. If you've utilized Kajabi before and you did a trial, please share some insights with our audience. I would love for them to learn how they can be effective when they jump onto this platform and how they can get the most out of it. So please feel free to share some insights that might have worked really well for you to get the most out of your trial. Okay, corporate misses, I'll see you soon.
Hey there, Corporate Misfits. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be notified of some of our upcoming videos.